Hi, Miss Carolyn. This is Jessica. I seen you needed help with your granddaughter's hair, and I was thinking about how I could help you, and I figured uh, the best way to help you would be to show you. Um, my hair right now, I um, deep conditioned it already, so that's why it's like laid down like it is, but I've already uh, conditioned and rinsed it out and stuff, and you were talking about having trouble with the detangling. Okay, mine's not tangled up right now, um, but I can try and show you what to do when it is tangled. Um, first thing, you don't ever want to try and do her hair with it dry because of the nature of uh, this type of hair. Um, it needs to be wet. And uh, I know you can't tell, but my hair is not soaking wet, but it is damp right now. Um, but you want to have hers wet and whenever you try to do her hair and you want to make the sections do it with your finger first like go as close to the where wherever you can get the hair to separate you know like like if you can't get <clears throat> this much out what you gonna do just kind of do like this and see where the hair wants to separate right so let's say i want to separate it right here okay i'm gonna try and turn so you can you can see what i'm doing here so and of course that's not going to be a straight section but that's okay because that's not what you're trying to do right now the first thing you want to try to do is to get it detangled you can work on the parts later um, so this piece of hair, you're just going to uh, move it out of the way, right? Okay, so that's not, that's, I can't tell, I don't think that's a straight part, but, you know, this, okay. So the hair is wet, like even if you have to get, even if you have to get a spray bottle, use a spray bottle, get the hair wet, right? And you're going to try and finger detangle before you start using your comb and your detangling brushes. So what you're gonna do, you take the hair, you pull it all the way out to the end like this. And if it's tangled, and even though the matting might be up here, you still wanna start at the end and work your way to the scalp. So you're gonna take the hair and do like this, all right? And you have to hold it here because if you don't, it's just going to draw back. That's nothing wrong with the hair. That's nothing you're doing wrong. That's just the way hair with this texture reacts. So you do it like that. And you pull it from the ends. Now, if you try to pull it and then what you're going to do, try to pull a little bit from the side. All right. And then, like, you're going to work it loose with your fingers. Okay. So, if you happen to get, let's see if I can tangle it and get it so I can show you how to untangle it. <laughs> Doesn't take much, really. Okay. So, I'm going to do the same thing here. So, this is going to be my section I'm going to work with. And... I'm going to put some type of cream on it while it's wet. Um, I've got this uh, Aunt Jackie's Curl Main Curl Maintenance. Um, I can't tell you how well this works. This is a new one that I've gotten to try out. Uh, I use a little bit of it today, but not uh, a lot. So, but so far, it gave me my smooth down earlier. So I'm going to put some more in. Um, it's got flaxseed, argan oil, shea butter, mango butter. And it's uh, the Aunt Jackie's Curl Maintenance Anti-Poof Defining Curl Whip. And you can get it from a beauty supply store. So take like this much and like put it in there. While the hair is wet, even if it's tangled, put it in there. And if you feel like you need some more, 
like put some more and if her hair texture is anything like mine is um the hair will like it it likes heavy products so you work it in like this okay same motion and what this is doing is the the water helps to elongate the hair and then you put the cream on it that makes the hair heavier you see how whenever I let it go how it's not jumping back so quickly it's because it's taking in that moisture and you work your way up okay like that so then you start with your fingers you just grab a little bit and like do like this and pull it apart okay now if it gets say like if this section and this section were matted together and it was a section like that and I couldn't get it loose from the rest you'd still do that pull from the bottom motion you know you want to pull and separate from the bottom and work your way up slowly um, there's nothing really quick about the process uh, it takes a while um, but you'll get used to it and you'll get faster as you do it there's nothing wrong with her hair or anything that you're doing it's just that hair of this texture just requires mm, some special extra attention so the brush that I use is um it's called evolve I got it from Walmart and the same thing always at the end do you like that and then like work your way up the hair like that okay don't ever try to comb it out from the root to the tip first and don't go and don't start with your comb and your tools first. You start with your hands first. You work your way root to tip. Apply your moisturizer. And then you can brush it through. Okay? Now, you go, what you're going to do is you're going to do her whole head like this. Whatever sections you can pull apart and do like that, that's what you're going to do. But every time you do a section, make sure that you twist it or put like a a, a hair tie or um, some kind of clip, a pin, and put it like this. Because if you don't, it's going to tangle again. Again, not because you did anything. That's just how this hair acts. Okay? So you're going to start. And then you're going to grab another section. So just wherever you can grab it at. It ain't gotta be neat, it ain't gotta be cute. So, like that. And if mine is parting out straight, like I said, I've already detangled and uh, conditioned. Um, so, that's why it's coming loose so easily. So, cream. And put it on there. Okay. And both sides. And do your ends like that and just you working it into the hair place right okay and once you feel like you got it finger detangled pretty well like then you can go in and do this take your time untangle the parts that are tangled always detangle from the bottom up No. Okay. So I have this section. Yeah, see, like your part isn't straight, but that's okay. That's the section we could get out, and that's what we work with. So again, at the bottom, like this. Slowly work your way up. If it's like getting like stuck right here, that means you need to stop right there and work on this a little bit more. Sometimes you have to do that. You can like get about like this far and then you can't move it so that means you gotta do some more of this and like and pull the hair this way 
pull it apart from each other like this. Uh, don't rip the hair. You don't want to like do this number because it's just going to make the knot tighter at the bottom. So if you do have a knot at the bottom, pull down on the knot like this with your, with your moisturizer on your fingers and pull down and pull the pieces out. Now, sometimes, you know, you'll still end up with like a little hairball on the end, and that's from shed hair. Um, that's normal. It happens. It happens to mine. Um, but, and you might, you since this would be, if this is your first time, like, giving her a detangle um, after it's matted, you're going to have quite a bit of hair come out. Um, but don't be alarmed by that. That is just normal shedding because the the shed hair is like trapped where her hair is matted and so whenever you release that and it comes out it looks like oh gosh it looks like her hair is coming out but it's not it's just shed hair okay so i'm going through i got everything pulled out okay let's try it again and always be gentle take your time uh the last thing you want to do you don't want to make this a traumatic experience for her. You want to make it as calming and as normal and as be as patient as you possibly can. Okay. Get her a movie, you know, like put her on a movie. You might have to watch a couple of movies. I know three-year-olds don't like to be still. Okay. So see, now this piece is all... It's all combed out, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna twist that piece. And then I'm gonna like, I should have brought some more pins. I didn't bring any more pins. Um, but you just take a like a clippy pin, like you do like that and just clip it. Cause you don't want it to undo all your detangle work that you just did, right? Okay, I don't have that, I have another hair tie so I'm gonna use that so I'm doing like this and you it doesn't have to be like tight tight you just want it to hold it where it stays stretched out where the hair stays stretched out okay so see see your parts are still messed up we're not gonna worry about that yet you're gonna go through her entire head whenever you go through her entire head getting it detangled then start at the bottom okay you can give it another comb through here if you want to just to if it'll make you feel good like you got it straightened out good right and while you're holding this section take this section loose and add it to this section okay put it together And then you do it again. So now your small section has become a bigger section. And the reason why you're doing this is because you want to get it combed out. You can't you can't part matted hair. It's got to be combed out first. So you get through that detangling. And then once it's detangled, like I said, mine's already detangled. I'm going to show you. So I've already done this like to my whole head, right? So now, you should be able to take your comb, because mine's already done, right? You should be able to take your comb now. And no, don't try to do the whole length of the part, ever, how long you're trying to do the part. If you're trying to do one down the middle, or if you're trying to do here to here and ear to ear, do it like in short bursts, okay? So if I was trying to make a part right here, I'd do like this much right and part that out and just pull that out right there okay and then lay it right there and go a little bit further and come out you see you're just dealing with like a little bit of hair at the top <clears throat> you see what i'm doing and see you'll get a straight part 
after you after you detangle that's whenever you try to straighten up your parts okay see you can make it just as clean as you want to and that's how I got the one that I have down the middle um I hope it looks good I don't know what it's, but yeah did the one down the middle just like that okay so Hair still wet, you know. Start at the end. Do like this. If you can get a hold of a big section section like that, do the big section. If you can only get a small section out, do a small section. Just do what you can. Work the way up. And you see, I'm not struggling too much because, again, already done. Okay. You can do this number right here. Okay. And make sure you got it good and combed out. You want to gather it here first. Okay. Like that. And work on your ends. Work your way up. Okay. And if you want it to give her a style where it's parted down the middle in the two buns, <clears throat> then you can take this section take this section loose it works better whenever you use like the snappy pins so that way you can just like pull it out so you're gonna let that loose and now you can combine this section with this section like that you can smooth it with your hand if you want to uh, you can run it through the brush again uh, that would be okay too uh, just whatever you and she are comfortable with <clears throat> now as far as styling goes she's three I would try to do the quickest and non-involved hairstyles I possibly could and for her that would probably be braids or twists so let's say you've got her hair parted down the middle right and you want to turn this into a section here, a section here, here, and here. Okay, so you're gonna take your comb. It's all detangled now, right? You wanna start here and aim for the ear. Now, if you feel like you can get all the way across, you do that, but if not, do the same thing like what I showed you before. Like grab a section, uh, get it as far into the two pieces as you can. <clears throat> and then straighten up the part okay so we've got this this is out of the way so now we're just going to work on her one section right here okay. good brushed out get your hair tie like that get um get the ones that don't have metal parts on them you don't want that you want like the ouchless ones and you don't have to make it terribly tight i mean this doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be tight okay and with what you'll find with this hair is that it's longer than it appears so You've got this section right here. Like this is her one bottom back square, right? You can do a twist or you can do a braid. A twist is just two sections. Uh, get them as even as you can. And then just twist one end over the other. Just like that. See what I'm saying? Just twist it like that. And then because she's three, you, she's probably got some hair bows and things. Okay, so you can do one of two things. You can twist the end like this, and that end will, see? It'll curl on itself. And it's going to get fat like that. You can do it like that, and that's fine. And it will, it will stay like that, you know, 
maybe not through sleep if she's a rough sleeper but like if this was her style for the day it would mainly stay like this if you wanted to make sure that it stayed together uh, you can get like some little bands and put on it um, I wouldn't use rubber bands look for silicone bands um, these are more slick and they don't pull the hair out and um, the only downside to these is that these will break quicker than a rubber band would but whenever you weigh in the pros and cons of it of you know do I want to pull my hair out or do I just want to go through a couple more bands because I was a little rough and not have any hair come out you see okay so if you want to do a twist like that and then you just take your little silicone band again from the beauty supply store they got them you don't have to do it a whole bunch of times just like that right and there's her style for that day her hair is like that and do like that for the four sections okay and she'll have a cute little hairstyle um you can take the two ends and like you know um crisscross and like pull one to go this way and pull the other one to go the other way and pin it up with like a pretty bow here or here um anything like that will work now whenever she goes to bed at night uh what you want to do if you have it in this style and you have an elastic up here you're going to want to hold on to the hair right here right you're going to take this loose like and pull her whole braid through like that you're going to undo it right take it off it's going to look like that let her sleep with it like this okay um i would recommend that you get her a satin pillowcase to sleep on because cotton pillowcases tend to dry out already dry hair even more um so the and she's more than likely not going to keep a bonnet on her head now now if she was sleeping in a satin bonnet by all means um but I use, I have both, so it depends on how lazy I'm being. If I feel like putting a bonnet on or if I just want to lay down. Um, but do that and let her sleep just like that, right? So whenever you get up the next morning to do her hair, you're just going to take that section. <clears throat> you're going to pull it back together like that. Put the band on it. Okay. Like that, and if her twist is fuzzy, so you're gonna take this off. You can leave the end on, okay? But you, you have to put it back on. You take this off, so if her her twist becomes fuzzy, you can take a little bit more of your cream if you need to. You probably won't need to because the way you have the hair twisted around each other, it's gonna hold that moisture in. So the hair is gonna be really soft and really pliable, okay? And um, you can put a little moisturizer on, maybe a little spritz of water if you want. Do the same thing, just like this. I'm gonna make sure you can skip this step, or you know, if it's extra good, uh, um, fuzzy looking to you, you can do it just like this, just like you did the whole time, All right? And you just do it again the next morning, and you can have her hair done five ten minutes the hardest part is the conditioning and the detangling uh, the hairstyling really isn't that hard of a thing especially whenever she's that small because um, you can do just cute simple styles you know it doesn't have to be anything complicated you know put the end back on it That. You twist the end if you want. And there you go. And that's it. And that's her hair for the day. You do that. And then um, if you look at the comment, the one before this video that I'm going to post for you, uh, it tells you how to go through the detangling 
and the deep conditioning process and then about putting on like uh, a leave-in conditioner or a cream or something whenever you condition it after you wash it. Um, I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, if you have any more questions, I'll try to help you best I can. Um, good luck. And just be patient. Be patient with you. Be patient with her. And just remember that as frustrating as it is for you, it's more frustrating for her because it's attached to her head. And you want to make this a great experience. You want her to love taking care of her hair. So, you know, put on some movies. You might have to do like a section at lunchtime. You might have to do a say It might take you like the first time you get everything detangled. It might take you a couple of afternoons to do. Um, but if that's what it takes to get it done and make her comfortable and make sure it's a likable experience, then take the time to do that because it'll pay off in the long run. So, because the last thing you want is whenever she sees you coming with the comb and brush, you don't want her to run and cry. That's not, that's not what you want. You want to be like, oh yeah, I'm about to get my hair done. You know, you want her to come running ready to go. And this, that's how you do it. So... That, I'll take care of that. All right. I hope that helped. Oh, <laughs> I hit my tripod. I hope that helped you. And I hope you have a good night. And uh, if I missed anything or something wasn't clear, um, you can message me here or you can hit my inbox or whatever. And I'll try to help you best I can. Thank you.